Hey Tawola, Lisiba here and welcome back to part 2 video series on the 5 phases of production. In case you haven't watched part 1 on the 5 phases of production, I've left a link in the description section down below. You're welcome to go check it out first before we continue. So now we're in the fourth stage of phase of filmmaking, post-production. This is where we get to put everything together so we can end up with a film. Basically what you just have coming out of production is what we call rushes or dailies. It's just raw footage. Once you post-production, you trauma right after principal photography fail, right after you wrap your first day of shoot. On the second day of shoot, you will then take that footage to the editor, will start syncing and cutting the film. Understand it can be a different procedure if maybe you're working on a smaller scale of a production. But then, you know, you can still work on until your last day of shoot and then edit your film. One other thing you should know about post-production is that it's a unique phase of filmmaking with a whole different set of concerns than when you're in production. Things like sound and visual effects can be one of them or editing. Always give yourself more time in post-production. Other reason why people spend more time in post-production is this. Don't worry, we will fix it in post never ever ever and i repeat never fix anything in post-production that you know you could have quickly and easily done in production always take advantage while you're still in production because once you're in post-production you don't want to spend more time trying to fix things that you could have done while you're in production not only will you spend more money doing pickups but you might not have access to locations that you had before or your actors might not be available by the time you have access to those locations or you might have bad weather or the other way around so how do you market and distribute your film? Before you start spending money on marketing and distribution, you need to make sure you have a plan for that and that your film is easily accessible to the audience and general public. Acting and developing a marketing strategy for your film is the meshing of art and science, guys. Yeah, it's rocket science because the process starts before the film is even made. How the f*** you should panic? Do you even market a product before it's even done? Hmm? Here's how you do it. Hmm. Okay, so your primary demographic audience will be emphasis in the early stages of developing advertising materials. I hope you're writing this down. Advertising materials or channels and later may be modified as the film takes final form. Or very crucial looks about your primary target audience because this audience is easily motivated and is expected to be the first wave of ticket buyers. So after identifying your primary target audience, break that down to their living standard measure to try see what kind of films do they enjoy watching. If they do go to the cinema, do they own smartphones, do they have access to the internet? One of the advantages in using social media platforms or YouTube to promote your film is that they're easily accessible to anyone and everyone. They're interactive and they are the best way to establish an audience or following. So start creating those shell accounts on Facebook, YouTube or Twitter and make sure when you upload you interact with your audience. Keep them up to date with anything that's happening with the film from crew stills, uh, EPK, you know, behind the scene. What's happening with your film, you need to get them hyped up as much as you are excited with the film. So when it releases, everyone is so excited and know what the film is actually about and they actually have an idea of what to expect. One other good thing is that you get to test your product if it works or what works or not with your product. So you have advantage to this social media platform. So make sure you get that teaser and trailer out and make sure it's looking nice so everyone is gonna love it. So I've decided at the end of every video, I'm going to leave you guys with a real tip. You know, we can also share tips, filmmaking tips, and you can just do that by leaving it in the comment section down below or on Facebook or Twitter, just right here. So my real tip for you is if you're really serious about this filmmaking thing, you need to learn and understand all aspects of this filmmaking business. The more you understand about this machine, the better chances you will succeed. And people will want to work with you or you'll work with them or I hire you, you hire me, I might want to work with you or the other way around. Yeah, you know I got your back with all the filmmaking tips and advice and everything. And you can always ask me any question in the comment section down below. Just write here. And yeah, brother, please, before you watch that next video, please subscribe. Click right here. Sign in and please subscribe.